Welcome to today's webinar series event sponsored by KPI Partners. My name is Jeremiah Johnson and I will be introducing you to today's session. As part of our new series, as part of our new series examining Oracle BI Applications 11G, today's session is the first of three monthly webinars. Today's topic is unpacking the new Oracle BI apps now with the ODI. The objective is to take an architectural deep dive into ODI and the new version of the Oracle BI applications. To learn more about our new series called Examining Oracle BI Applications 11G, the series, please visit kpipartners.com slash BI apps. You can also get notifications of all upcoming articles, on-demand recordings, ebooks, and webinars by clicking to kpipartners.com slash subscribe. Episode 1 of our series, a 10-minute video titled Overview of Oracle BI Applications 11.1.1.7.1, is currently available at kpipartners.com slash BI apps for on-demand viewing. That's kpipartners.com slash BIAPPS. For those of you who may not know, KPI Partners is the most experienced systems implementation consultancy in the area of Oracle Business Intelligence and Hyperion Enterprise Performance Management. In addition to strategic consulting services, KPI offers training and education through KPI University and exclusive pre-built solutions for Oracle Business Intelligence. Please check out the latest thinking area of our website at kpipartners.com for all kinds of helpful content, case studies, videos, archived webinars, free ebooks, and more. For today's webinar, we are pleased to be joined by a team from KPI Partners and Oracle that includes Vikas Agrawal and Hari Chirukapali. Vikas is the VP of Applications for KPI Partners, and Hari is the Principal Product Strategy Manager for Oracle. Hari will be assisting during the Q&A period. If you want to find out more about KPI Partners or how we can assist your organization with the Oracle BI applications, please contact us through our website at kpipartners.com. I will now bring in our team to kick off today's presentation. Vikas, the floor is all yours. Thanks, Jomai. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us for this webinar today. Uh, the agenda for this webinar today is to basically cover the, a very quick overview of what are BI apps. Uh, what are the architecture and the components that have been introduced as part of this new release. And then we'll do a quick overview of the Golden Gate, which is an optional deployment uh, option uh, for the new OBI apps. And then this will be followed by the Q&A section. So what is Oracle BI Applications? So Oracle BI application is a pre-built solution for a variety of CRM and ERP applications like financials, auto management, supply chain, procurement and spend, human resources, etc. It is built on a suite of tools which involves ETL or ELT and primarily based on the Oracle BI uh, Enterprise Edition Reporting Toolset with several other components. It contains a pre-built warehouse, and in this particular example, as you're seeing in, on the slide, uh, for financials, it comes with pre-built 16 uh, different star schemas and the metadata designed for analysis and reporting. It also contains a pre-built ETL uh, that, that can extract data from various sources like Oracle EBS, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, SAP, and also gives you the flexibility to extract data from non-supported uh, ERP sources like uh, Great Plains or Lawson or any other ERP source that you might be having via the universal adapters. <clears throat> In addition to the ETL routines, <clears throat> it also comes with a pre-built metadata that, ca that is based on the best practice library of calculations and metrics, um, industry-based standards uh, for your business process logic, and then a huge library of uh, dashboards and reports uh, for, for uh, reporting and uh, analysis purposes. So <clears throat> quickly moving on to what's, what's in the new BI applications. It has new applications, student information analytics, and indirect spend planning, uh, new enhanced con content for financials, HR, and projects, and several other modules like CRM. It is built on the new OBIE platform 11.1.1.7. And the major change, which is the ETL portion, which has been re-architected with the Oracle data integrator and an optional component, Oracle Golden Gate. It also now comes with a new set of tools, uh, which are GUI-based and which help you uh, in, uh, basically with your deployments and your configuration and functional setups. So summary of features, basically what it offers is it has offers new visualization, leveraging OBI 11.1.1.7, new tools, API, BI apps, config manager, and functional setup manager, 
Golden Gate for real time loads as, and the new Oracle data integrator uh, tool for data integration. The new application content basically consists of for financials, fixed assets, and commitment control for public sector are the new additions to the financials modules. For human resources, time and labor, global payroll uh, for, uh, are the new uh, content for human resources. Within procurement and spend module, you will find sourcing analytics uh, as, as the new content uh, to report on sourcing and contracts. Supply chain has uh, new metrics and new definitions, uh, new analysis providing on costing and inventory cycle count. Sorry. In, within projects, there have been the introduction of resource management and GL reconciliation. And in CRM for service analytics, they have um, the contracts piece has been enhanced. And also, pricing analytics has been introduced for uh, the e-business e suite source. There are two new modules that have been introduced. And that is student information analytics, which helps you with admissions, recruiting, and financials. Uh, and the source for this is only for people staff right now. And then for operational planning, you have the indirect spend planning, which has additional requirements in terms of our architecture, and it leverages SBase for what-if analysis. Uh, this metric shows the different applications and sources supported by Oracle BI applications, 11171. The cells in red are the ones that are supported by 11171, and the cells marked in gray are the ones supported by the previous versions with Informatica as the ETL tool. A uh, couple of quick points to note here are that uh, within the EBS area, under CRM modules, only service and pricing, pricing analytics are supported for now. And within manufacturing for EBS, uh, only process, uh, sorry, the discrete manufacturing is only supported and not process. The process manufacturing piece is supported within the 796 uh, BI applications. So what's not included in the current, in, the, in this new release? So in this current new release, you cannot extract data from a fusion data source. The enterprise asset management analytics, which, was, which is available as a 796 content, is not available in this, uh, in, the, in the newer version of this application. A process manufacturing is not supported. Uh, the BI, uh, it is only supported on Oracle databases where both source and target are your Oracle databases. Uh, CRM vertical applications are not currently supported within, within this version. So a quick look at the takeaways from this section is that you have new content, student information analytics and indirect spend planning, a new data integration tool, Oracle Data Integrator, and then new tools, the BI Config Manager and Functional Setup Manager to aid with your configuration and functional setup. 